in demo I I have domain called mytestdomain.net we're gonna use it throughout this demo first we're gonna create WordPress application in Google Cloud Launcher uh, because it's the quickest way to have some meaningful app then we're gonna take a look at Google Cloud DNS in Cloud Console gonna set a domain register name servers to point to Google so we can use Google Cloud DNS we're gonna set domain to point to our WordPress app then we're gonna set CNAME record for subdomain www we're gonna create Magento app and finally we will add subdomain eShop and connect it to Magento that's all let's go step by step so we are in Google Cloud console and we're gonna create WordPress app with Google Cloud Launcher we can go to menu and it's here and there are tons of uh, solutions application which you can have with one click or a few clicks and we're gonna use WordPress just to install, launch on Google and Compute Engine. So here are just some default configuration. We're gonna have it on smallest instance and that's okay basically deploy it it's gonna take a while okay until it does deployment let's take a look at Google Cloud DNS finally it's under networking and you can see here cloud DNS so here we can see list of uh, zones but since we don't have any we cannot see so we'll create new one first is zone name it can be basically anything but it's usually good habit to have uh, it same as uh, domain so I'm gonna type domain my test domain here we put actual DNS name that is my test domain dot net and description is optional I'll type something And this is the main for testing. Okay, I click on create. And we have information that the NS zone, my test domain has been created. Okay, great. So here is my domain register, here is my domain and here as I said in presentation we can also manage DNS records so I have MX a C name and another C names basically not important at this time but here is uh, here are settings for name servers, so these are my default name servers for, for my register and I'm gonna remove them all oh, I need to have at least one, yes, so I'm gonna copy like this gonna add and I 
add one more. So this difference is this numbers. There are four. Yeah, there are four. So that's it. Next. Now the thing with this changes is that it takes some time to propagate all the changes since uh, everything is cached and uh, yeah, it takes sometimes minutes, sometimes hour, hours depends so I set name servers we can go back to cloud console okay let's take a look at our WordPress application So we have here live WordPress application. Let's let's take a look. It works. Great, it works. It's on this IP address. So basically what we want is to connect this IP address with our domain and that's what we're going to do through Google Cloud DNS. So let's go to Google Cloud DNS. So here is our zone. Okay, so now we're gonna set records, DNS records. First we're gonna set set a record to point my test domain.net to our WordPress servers so we're just gonna copy IP address here so we have a record this IP address and we're gonna click on create And we can see here newly added record. Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set CNAME record for subdomain www and it will alias naked domain that is my test domain dot net. Important is to add dot at the end. And I'm gonna click again create and we have here C name record. So it's gonna check if this works. Okay, so I'll type this domain and you can see log oh type www and we can see how it works so uh, one comment though for some reason on uh, macbook it took me several hours uh, just to make it work this changes to work because it looks like that uh, macbook has its own caching system and I tried several commands to clear clear it but it didn't work so I don't know the reason I tried also on my Android phone there it worked for up to one hour also on my desktop computer so this caching there are different places and yeah sometimes it can be frustrating or it can take a long time but Usually it takes maximally one day to for all caching to expire. So if even after one day it doesn't help, then there is some more problem. 
Okay, so let's create Magento application again through Cloud Launcher. Gonna search. Launch on Compute Engine. Again, default configuration, and we're not gonna think about this a lot. Just gonna hit deploy and we're gonna wait. So after about two minutes, which I skipped in recording, we can see that Magento application is ready and when I click on URL, there it is. Now we're gonna add this application as eShop subdomain to our domain. Can we go to networking? Cloud DNS. My test domain zone. Add a record set. I'm gonna use a record and I'm gonna type here eShop and copy IP address. created and again it takes some time to propagate these changes okay so now let's look at eShop subdomain now we notice that it doesn't show eShop dot my test domain dot net but it shows IP address of the server I admit I don't know exactly the reason why it behaves like that uh, my, th my thought is that it's configuration of Magento but I don't have experience with it so I cannot configure what I did though is that I launched another application and I added it to test my test domain.net and this IP address so when I Type test my domain taste, it displays suit CRM, which again I don't have experience with, but it's suited as example. So that's all. In the end, I'll repeat what we did throughout this example. We created a few applications through Google Cloud Launcher, then we connected one application to Naked Domain. We also created CNAME record so that www subdomain points to naked domain. Then we connected other applications as subdomains through A records. And that's all. Hope it was useful for you. This example of how to use Google Cloud DNS. If you have questions or comments, feel free to write me.